What's going on guys, my name is Duggar, always on board, and while my wife is making me biscuits and gravy, I figured I'd show you guys how to do something cool in Premiere by adding watermarks. Um, so with watermarks, you can brand your videos so that people can't take them, or brand them just because you want everyone to know that that's your video. Um, you can easily go up here to title, new title, and make a text watermark, but let's say you want to go um, and make a cool logo in Photoshop and then import it into Premiere and apply it to this video as a watermark or you can make it an illustrator. Um, there's two different ways to make watermarks or I'm sure there's many more but I use pr uh, Premiere, Photoshop, and Illustrator for most of my projects um, unless it's video work and or, uh, After Effects. So the tutorial here is going to be showing you guys how to apply a watermark that you have created in Illustrator or Photoshop and put it on over to Premiere Pro so that you can use it as your um, watermark. But the first thing that I wanted to show you is just the basic one, which is Photoshop. Um, so we're gonna, we're, what we're going to do is we're going to um, make a watermark with just our YouTube name, and then we're going to put it into Premiere Pro and then use it as a watermark. So we're in Photoshop. Go to File, New, uh, 1280 by 720, resolution 72, because that is YouTube's HD. And so from here, um, I'm going to make white text, so I need the background to be uh, black so that you can see it. So I'm going to duplicate this background layer that's white so that I can hide this one since it's locked and make some changes to this one. With this selected, um, you can see that your foreground color and your background color is white to black. Hit Command or Control Delete and then it fills that in with black. So if I was to change this black to any other color and did that, it would change it to whatever color I chose. So now that we have a black background, we can click on um, the text tool and we can type in some stuff and the color needs to be on white up here. So I'm going to type in with all caps, always, and then hit enter, and then go down here and type again. So I'm going to put, I'm bored. Okay. And then I'm just going to position these together. It doesn't have to be perfect. Um, this is just a tutorial, but you guys obviously are going to probably want to be more creative with your stuff. Um, we can click on both of these uh, layers, the text layers, and we can drag them into a group so that whenever I move one, both of them move. And so when we go back in here into Premiere, you need to know where you're going to be putting the watermark uh, just to save you some time. Um, and so right here I have Battlefield uh, gameplay and it seems like everything on the screen is pretty much filled up. The only place that we can put this is up at the top left so that it's not crowded around everything else. So going back into Photoshop, the goal here is to put it up here where the, the video is going to be empty and hitting Command T, holding Shift and Option or Alt and then just bringing the size down because you don't really want too big of a, a watermark. And I know that the spacing in between I'm bored isn't perfect, so you guys are probably going to have to go into the characters right here and then change the spacing in between the letters, but for tutorial's sake, I won't be doing that. Um, so now what you want to do is you want to make it to where you save this so that the background doesn't show at all and the text does, and we're going to do that right now. I need to hide the background layer so that it looks transparent. Now we can go over to File save as, and then we can go down here to PNG, because PNG makes it to where it doesn't fill the background in with any color, so it can be transparent. And so now it's on the desktop, let's type it in as AIBPS uh, yada. <laughs> and then we save that, click on OK. So now that we go uh, into Premiere, we can uh, import it. So down here at the bottom left, you can double click this, and then you can click on the desktop where it's uh, AID yada 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 okay so import that and over here you can see that it says always on board at the top left we can just click and drag that onto your video and then drag this out to so that it fits onto the premiere track and as you can see it's a watermark and you don't have a background of any color and if you wanted to reposition this or make this smaller all you would have to do is click on that video layer go up here to motion drop this down and the scale you can scale this down and don't worry when you scale it down you're just gonna have to reposition it so let's say we scale it down to this size you go over here to the position, um, X and Y, so this is the Y, so here you go, here you go. And so now you have a logo at the top left, and if you play it, it's just, a, it's just a watermark that you can use to brand your videos. Now let's say you're an illustrator and you have a logo, like I've created my own logo. Um, let's say I wanna put just this um, into Illustrator, same way that we did with the text in Photoshop. Um, let's say we go up here to File, and this time we're actually going to go to export. It's not save as because that just saves it as a document, but we want it as an image. So we're going to um, we're going to go down here to export and say we we can do test 12, and then we can go to the format as PNG just like we did before, so that the background is not there. And as you can see, I showed you a little preview that you can make the background transparent. Um, so screen 
um, 72, yada, yada, yada. And so we're gonna have it on background color transparent, but you could put it on white and black if you wanted to, but this is a watermark, so we don't want that. Click on okay, go back into Premiere, double click this, uh, we saved it as 12, one, two, or test uh, 12. And then same thing, we just drag and drop that on here. Stretch this out, and obviously this is way too large. So all we have to do is click on this again, go up here to motion, scale this down big time. Let's say we want the watermark about that size, and then we can just move it around like we did the text. So let's say I wanna cover that. There we go, that's a watermark right there. And a tip that I have for you guys is that you guys don't want, or you shouldn't want to have your um, watermark be too how it, transparent, I guess. So we wanna change the opacity. So how we would do that is we can go over here to video three and we can just drop this down and then we can bring the opacity down a lot. Oops, not that much. And then we can hide the text layer since we don't need both of those obviously. So you don't wanna have a video have too much, trans or a watermark have too much transparency because it sticks out way too much. You just want people to know that it's your video. Uh, so drop the transparency down or the opacity down. So that's pretty much the gist of it, and that's the watermark tutorial using uh, Premiere Pro CS6, using Photoshop CS6, or Illustrator CS6. My name is Doug, or always on board. Uh, if you guys leave feedback, that'd be great. Tell me what you guys want to learn so that I can make another video, because I like doing this. Um, yeah, check out the videos at the end, and I'll talk to you guys later.